Hey, I'm Jeff. And I'm Phil, and we're the Cocktail Dudes. Today we're making the Aloha Martini. Aloha. Aloha. <laughs> should have brought our ukulele so we could have done right. a little duet. With our coconut bras and crash. Oh my gosh, that would be <laughs> awesome. Wish Nobody wants to that. see that. Nobody wants oh, yeah. to see that. People want to see that big time. <laughs> this uh, is a nice tropical drink featuring mm -hmm. aloe vera plant. Yeah, this way if you're sunburned on the outside, at least you'll feel good in the inside. <laughs> Oh my gosh. <laughs> I don't even want to think about that. <laughs> I suppose if you get like, now this is an idea because like at Chernobyl, you know, when those guys were in the nuclear power accident and they got all this radiation. Yeah. They, this might have helped them to have aloe on the inside. <laughs> right? True. It helps your sunburn. They should have been drinking these 24-7. We ought to look into that. There's big money in like medical, in medicine and medical devices. Mm-hmm. This is edible, by the way. A lot of people don't. Oh, yeah. Aloe vera is edible. The leaf, the inside of the leaf. Yeah. The outside has laxative properties. Yeah. So if you're going to eat the green part, sit on the toilet while you're eating it, <laughs> right? But the inside gelatinous clear part is edible, as are the flowers. This, is, this plant grows, you know, about this big, kind of in a spiral. You know, it starts out like small. Mm -hmm. You see it in window boxes a lot. Um, and then in the summer, they push up a stalk and have little yellow flowers that look like, like peanuts, sort of the size of a peanut. And the, flower, the flowers are edible, as are the inside of the, of the leaves. Mm -hmm. And you see it in things like uh, yogurts and different beverages and of fun course. stuff like that. Suntan lotion. And yes. Other lotions. Edible suntan lotion. <laughs> I was wondering why my dog licked my ankles when I put sunblock on. Maybe it's... <laughs> Maybe that's why. He wanted the bitterness out of it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is a little bit bitter. Mm -hmm. um, and I was going off to say something very important and I forgot it. Uh -huh. So we'll just like, it's lost, to, it's lost to humanity now, I'm sad to say. It'll come back to you. All right, so we're going to start um, to get the, first of all, to get the f uh, flesh out of here, you want to just uh, take the thick part of the aloe vera leaf, cut mm -hmm. the end off. And then turn it over to its side and slice off one of the edges. And then just use your long knife and fillet it up each side like you would a fish. Mm -hmm. And take it out from the peel. And there you have your gelatinous aloe vera fruit. Is it a fruit? It's not a fruit. It's not a fruit. No. It's inside. It's a part of the leaf. I don't know. I don't know what to call it. Hunk of leaf. <laughs> All right. So that's what we're going to start with. This is what it looks like, of course. Um, and we're going to just muddle that. And you have to muddle it really well. It's totally gooey mm -hmm. in every way imaginable. you got to really break it down. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I will never get over that sound. It's kind of like you kill it and then beat it to submission. Yeah. Really. Have to totally. With all the noises included. Yeah. That's what's fun about making these drinks. All of these aloe vera cocktails, by the way, are original to us. But it's fun because of the potty sounds it makes. <laughs> and it's fun because <laughs> it's like when you're a kid, like playing in the mud. Hey, you, you know so they got the stress relief balls? Yeah. That's kind Perfect. of what that feels like, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. You have a really bad day, just come home and muddle some aloe. This thing is so thick and viscous that when you're doing here what Phil is doing, it is the exact same feeling as if you're plunging in a toilet. Right? Yeah, pretty much. You do like when you're doing that and that's the I mean, exact same feeling. I gotta really be holding this glass to because it'll like pick up the whole glass. Yeah. With the suction that's in there. You have to model it for about 45 seconds, really. You have to break down everything because you want the liquid, not the gelatinous fiber C plant material. So this is totally gooey. Mm -hmm. Ectoplasmic E. Yeah, it's very, it's, it's like a gel. You're not really getting a juice out of it. It's kind of a gel. You got to strain it right into your beaker. We're looking for a half ounce here. We're going to let gravity do its work. 
Mm-hmm. Comes out like totally gross. But that's the product. That's the stuff you want right there. All right. So we're gonna put a half ounce of that into a fresh glass. Nice. There we're gonna we do go. two and a half ounces of unsweetened pineapple juice. Right, one and a half ounces of coconut rum. There you go. Thank you. We're gonna do just a little bit, a quarter ounce of uh, Luxardo Maraschino liqueur. Gives it just that uh, an unexplainable thing. We can never explain what this thing does to a drink. Can right. you? No, I can't. No. It's just complexity, I guess, is the best way to yeah. describe it. That's pretty good. Mm -hmm. And to that, we're going to add four to six basil leaves. Now, these ones I'm, I have now are gigantic. So I'm just going to do three. I'll do four. And then just rip them in the thirds or fourths and dump that in there. And just the muddling, shaking of that, it's going to sort of muddle itself with the ice cubes. Mm -hmm. And that's all you want of it. It's just a little bit of essence. And then we're going to take some Bitterman's Elemikula bitters. Sounds very Hawaiian. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds to me like Akuma, Akuna Matata. Yeah, it does. You know what that is? Yeah. Yeah. That's what, when I'm privately talking about these bitters to myself, I say the Akuna Matata. <laughs> you know who wrote those songs? Is that... Uh... Say, uh, Sir Elton John? Sir. <laughs> Very formal. <laughs> yeah. So we want six drops of, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six of these Elamakula bitters. But if you don't have it, don't worry about it. Uh, two dashes of orange bitters. Mm -hmm. Just something to give it a little bit of complexity. Add some ice to that. We're going to shake it up. I want to shake it. Nice and vigorously for a good 30 seconds to help mix in the viscous aloe vera gel. We have a Collins glass with some ice cubes in there. We're going to strain this right over the top of that. This is a very light, refreshing, delicious cocktail. A couple of ways to garnish this, you can put an edible flower on the edge, or we'll just stick a aloe vera leaf in there to float. And here you have your Aloha Martini. Enjoy. Cheers.